Okay, guys, we have some parasites to take care of. Welcome back to the Cat Lady Mixlings. Let's get them. Doesn't need to be anything in here I can actually use. No. Guess we're going onwards. I'm not sure what we're going to do here, but, uh... Cat Grabber. We'll take the Cat Grabber. Strange noises coming from the other side of the door. Let's have a look upstairs first. Oh god, I don't like this, I feel. I feel pretty on edge at the moment. Examine. They don't make them like this anymore. What, what a poignant thing to notice. Window. Look outside. All I see is a fog. I could never find my way home. We're going to kill them anyway. Sofa. Examine. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Lamp. Hmm, nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. Okay, I need to light the lamps in here if I'm going to have a chance of seeing anything. And there's creepy noises everywhere. I don't know if we can get caught in this game. Like, uh... I strongly suspect we can't. I think it's probably too scripted, but we'll see. The kitchen where they cook people. Empty wine bottles. Knife. Take knife. Yep. Fridge. <laughs> the door is stuck, but maybe that's better. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. Yeah, me neither. Cooker. This is where she cooks. Dirty pounds still stink of old cats. Oh, they eat cat! Because they're pest control. Slimy. I don't think she washes up very often. Lovely. I'm assuming they're probably both downstairs. Painting. Take. Not sure why I need the painting, but you know, whatever. Filthy remains of many meals. Get under. I don't need to hide at the moment. Let's drop a save here, seeing as it looks like we probably need to hide at some point uh, if we're going to survive. I can hear people walking around, which is quite disconcerting. Uh, what's this? This is not me controlling this. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. Okay, so we can I bleach suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. Yeah, the poison. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Okay, Metsy, thank you. Okay, we got a flashback now. Okay. What's going on? The pest something is wrong, there. Mitzi. The cats are alarming. Exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Okay, so we went out to investigate and got abducted in the process, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, it is really good. The way it's like all fitting together now. I like it. Uh, ground floor. I'm guessing we're going to need to check out these other flats later on for Eye of Adam, whatever his name is, I can't remember. Mailbox. It's a com communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All other compartments are locked. Okay. So this is where we went out. There's the pest control van, I think, maybe. And we got got in the fog by that dead end. What the fuck? Okay, we're going the other way then. So yeah, we got killed. We get attacked and knocked out and then dragged off in a body fog. bag. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. And not a soul would notice. Fuck. But still, 
It could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Back. Always look on the right side, they say. And I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Uh, it's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? What? A kind man had described to me what you look like. Our neighbour that called the pest control. What, what can I say? He was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. Oh, God. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. This is so fucked. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. Oh, fuck you. And that's how he got us. And that's how we ended up here. Perfection. I'm saving a lot, by the way. Uh, well, at least a fair amount, I guess. But, uh, you know. What's in the door? Okay, so we got some bleach. What the fuck is this? Is this where they wash? Their water looks very odd, like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. It's where they get rid of the bodies, probably. Lawn mower. What's it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Let's use... Uh... Okay, there's a corpse in the water. Take key. There's no way I'm putting my hand in the water. I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this one is definitely the creepiest of them all. Oh, that was worth it, wasn't it? Uh... The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. Remove the path plug. Okay. Oh, the plug's under the head. Um, okay, let's use the cat grabber. Well, that's what I'd use it for, for fuck's sake. Why can't I use the cat? This is the perfect place to use the fucking cat grabber. The perfect place. Oh, well. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really bad! <laughs> oh god, I'm dead! Really? Fuck you! <laughs> okay, so we don't need to go in there. <laughs> oh well, we're back down here. I wonder if they're going to start questioning the fact that I keep getting up. Sneak in. I'm going to get got by the other guy, but still. Bucket. Examine. It's an empty bucket. Room. Uh. Look at gun locker. Collecting guns must be his little passion. I finally could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. There's a window. There's a car drive coming through the broken window. I can't think of any use for the stuff that I've found so far, which is quite frustrating. Uh, painting? Examine. A small painting of a street store at night. Why would I need this? What am I supposed to do, guys? This is why I always get confused. Are we upstairs? Yeah, we can. There are only bedrooms up there. I should better stick to the ground floor for now. Okay. Well, what have I missed? Is the clock open? Yeah, like there's going to be a hiding, hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in a trouble already. Hmm. Maybe there's something in the van? Van. Search back a van. It's almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here, though. The window, I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. It's locked. Okay. 
Well, I know where the spare key is. It's inside that fucking chest with the fucking bodies. Look in. The door is locked, but I can see you left the phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got a hold of it somehow? Uh... Yes. Well, surely this is what's... I thought this was, like, common stuff. Like, a cat grabber makes perfect sense here. <sighs> Why can't a cat grabber grab anything that I actually need to grab it with, you know? It's pretty irritating. Okay, small window. So this is where the draft is coming through. Inside I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Uh, may as well just use everything on everything again. Uh, that should stop the draft in the cellar. I don't know why I wanted to stop the draft in the cellar, but I have. Loose bricks. Pull out. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull out the bricks with just my fingers. Uh, I'll use this. Use something. This did not. A blunt knife, of course. Yeah. Adventure game logic. But a brick. An old brick is quite heavy. Okay. Good, I guess. Can we just leave? Probably not, I'm guessing, but still. Yeah, we're just gonna come back there every time. Okay. Oh well. I love the way we keep going back into the house of a serial killer. Well, we made some progress, so I'm going to drop a save. Uh, P29. No, 29. There we go. Playing in the dark again. Right, so that's the kitchen. Hang on. Lamp. Remove light bulb. Uh. Remove. Uh, remove the light bulb with the cat grabber. It was worth a try. Remove the light bulb with the brick. Okay, it was worth a try, wasn't it? That's the kitchen where Lunatic is at the moment. Uh, lamp. Remove light bulb. So we need something to get the light bulb. That's where I came out of. What was this way again? There's got to be something in here that's worthwhile. This is the room that I need to get the lamps into. Oh, fuck. I don't know what to do, guys. I obviously need to get the thing out the, the thing, but with what thing? The thing and the thing and the thing and the thing. Oh well, we're gonna go back that way anyway, because the only way we can go. Unless I've done something in the cellar now, possibly. Because uh I did do something in the cellar, didn't I? Uh look at the window. The window's blocked, it's quite stuffy in here now. Ah, okay, so that's so I can gas him later on. And then we, hang on, we pour the bleach into the bucket. Okay, so we need the fucking phone from in the fucking thing as well. This is so confusing. Okay, so we need the key. That's going to be a really important thing is getting that key. Okay? So we call Mitzi to find out what we need to do to kill him. Bottles. There's nothing like a bottle of red, we read that already. Art cooker, rubbish. Sink, horrible. Fridge, shit. Um, what would I use a brick for? We can hide under the table, we need that for future reference, I'm guessing. Door, cloth. Box, examine. Okay, so we missed a cloth last time, which is kind of annoying, because the cutscene sort of didn't permit us. Well, this is where we got got. Oh, I have to use it on it. I didn't know that. It's fucking hell. Okay, let's get out of here. We might have to hide, but that's fine. Okay. Interesting there actually is a hide there. It doesn't really make sense at the moment. Okay, at the front door. We go to the van. 
I'm gonna use the key. Uh, search back a van. Come on, get in. Go on. But what's this? It seems like an idiot. Does it? Everything is creepy. Wifey from hell tells him to. He bought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. Then we use the brick to smash the window. Uh, take my mobile phone. Okay, we use the phone to call Mitzi. Make a call. Call Susan's flat. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. What the fuck? I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Well, that's not very useful. Uh, answer. Uh, call Susan. I call police. Why do I need to call the police? I need to kill these people. Police emergency line. How can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy. They're going to eat me alive. I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. This would never I've happen, for real. Kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX 4422DL, okay? It's not too far from now me, please extra. do something, uh, for God's sake. Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. She won't believe. Bitch. They're, they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a what the fuck? married couple, is that correct? Yes! No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. Fucking I hell. told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. Oh, great. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family what the disturbance, fuck? Mom? What? No. This is ridiculous. You know this married couple prior to the incident. You would never ask this. Are you related? Oh. Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Hang up, Susan. Oh, no, please, I'm only trying to help you. You're Mom. being incompetent. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be they dispatched. would just dispatch one Look, it would be non-negotiable track this number and you'll find where i am you can do that yeah they always do it on films i bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already just do me a favor and send a police car will you of course ma'am stay on the line that was fucking useless oh, did you witness cruelty to animals what what you mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? Yes! If so, I will put you through to animal what? welfare services for this area. This is ridiculous! Would you prefer that, ma'am? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. Please fuck off. I just want to move now. I'm fucking fed up in this conversation. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? This is ridiculous. Yes. Of course, I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself oh, for God's from sake. This would never the happen. hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? Oh, no, it's not this. like that. Miss Ash, I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm oh my God. not fucking crazy. So, 
that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help. Oh my god. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you prefer to call them yourself? Oh my god. Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks yeah. for nothing. Fucking useless Goodbye. cunt. That was a waste of fucking time. Okay, so calling the police, waste of time. Anyway, we're going to use the cloth to get the light bulbs off the thing, then we're going to light the room, get what's inside there, then kill him. Plan. Let's do this. So, lamp. Got a light bulb. We need two, though, I think. Oh, no, we only need one by the list of things. Uh, was it this way? Yeah, through this room, then into the other room. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter if we get caught and killed, because we can always kill them again. But still, lamp, switch on. Yep, this, use. There we go. Uh, check phone book. Fighting Susan's number. Okay, I got my phone number now. So, make a call. Let's call Susan's fat. Answer the phone. Uh, hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? S so ridiculous. I went downstairs to check on the cats. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Yes, I can. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me, the police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... But... Just, Mitzi, for fuck's sake, tell me. Uh, what's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me now. What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me. Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. Thank you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Okay. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. Okay. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, uh... Okay, thanks. Wish okay. me luck. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This'll be like a walk in the park. I'm also invincible, which does come in handy when you're trying to murder uh, some serial killers. Uh, I can't type today. Okay. Uh, We need to swap the light bulbs, I guess, because we need to look at this side the room too. Uh, I still have the cloth. I can get another light bulb. Fuck's sake, I didn't see the cloth before. I guess it was knocked off by the uh, thing. I don't like the, the noises here. It's horrible. Okay, let's go and put this other one in, and we'll check out the other side of the room. One thing I'm concerned about is the hiding spot. It's got to be there for a reason. Uh, maybe I could have got away from the woman if I had, but fucking I don't care. Uh, lamp. Use. Uh, oh, there's another phone there. Great. I guess that's there if you can't solve the puzzle. Or something, I guess. Okay, pesticide. Where would they keep pesticide? I've got to find it. Hmm. Finding the pesticide could prove to be a challenge, guys. 
I mean, I'd keep it down here if I was a serial killing maniac. I'm not, honest, but you know, if, if I was. I mean, that thing here, this thing in the corner here looks like why I keep pesticide. But still. What's in the bucket? It's empty. That's where we have to mix the chemicals, clearly. But we need to get some pesticide first from somewhere. It's got to be in the horrible section of the house. The shitty section this way. It's got to be. Hmm, I'm really concerned that we are missing something big time here, which we probably are. But that's okay. Uh... Okay, you don't need to hide at the moment, that's good, but still. Where'd you keep fucking pesticide? Uh... Examine. Uh... I can't go in there, because she's in there. And I can't examine this anymore. So what the fuck is the point? Uh, where would I keep pesticide? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm so confused as to what to do right now. So I'll be back when I find out what I have to do. Be right back. Oh, I wish this game had a run key. Okay, guys. I've been wandering around for about half an hour. And this has been intensely frustrating. But I think I have worked out what to do. Um, I've done quite a lot of stuff off camera. But I've reloaded so I can demonstrate what I'm about to do. So we have the phone here. Examine. An old phone, it looks like it's still working. There's a number on it, 01392 273592. Which is a real English phone number, I suspect as well. It certainly looks right. Um, anyway, we now have the phone number. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down here. We're going to go into the room with the table. And we're going to call that number. And the crazy lady is going to leave the area so we can go in and get some pesticide from in the area. Isn't that clever? It's actually quite a good puzzle, and I was just an idiot for not examining the phone. Um, okay, so, make a call. And she's going to freak out. Get under the fucking table. Okay, so we hide under here. The lovely lady comes out here. Lurches through the room like a fucking drunken Silent Hill nest. And we get an opportunity to go into the other room. My main concern is what we're going to do getting back, but um, let's uh, just be quick at this to begin with. Let's... Uh, take the pesticide and then we're going to get back uh, in the other room I really hope that I can make it back the phone stopped ringing this is not good okay we're going to wait here oh yeah drunken silent hell nurse lurches back through fucking disturbing isn't it they're so fucking disturbing as a couple but they're gonna be a dead couple soon because we're gonna fucking gas the guy downstairs and then blow her face off with a fucking pistol or something okay back to normal we go this is gonna work we're on the right path guys the game knows we're on the right path judging by the music as well so we go down to the cellar time for some serious gasification Sneak in. Alright, first things first, let's put the fucking gas mask on. Bucket. Uh, no. We need to put pour that. And then we need to pour that. What? Yes here, you piece of shit. Thank you. Fucking hell. And then we leave. Oh, uh, we, we wait, apparently, in the room with the gas mask on. And he's dead. There's one more parasite down.
There we go. Time to say hello to the lovely nurse lady. Don't you think? I think it is. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! <laughs> Let's keep the gas mask on, because uh, this is all highly enjoyable. We look like a fucking serial killer ourselves now. Where the fuck is she gone? She's not here. Shit. Ah. Goodbye, cunt. <laughs> Do you know what I've seen? I'm not quite sure where that came from. That's two more parasite sounds. Do you know where I've been? For the broken machine. Fucking awesome music. Oh, yeah. Next chapter. Chapter five. Fuck yeah. Sunflowers never bend towards the sun. Indeed they don't. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye for fucking now. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you alright? How did you get back? I killed them. I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? Chicken sandwich. I saw a monster. Kiss her. Oh, it's close. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. All is well. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end the video here because I decided to show that bit of the cutscene as well. So, bye for fucking now, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, like, and all that kind of good stuff. Share the video if you can, it really helps me. And, uh, See you guys soon for more of the cat lady. Bye for fucking now.